So it looks like bizarre, the Flatpak management application is coming to other Linux distros. And I could not be more excited about this. In fact, there's a pull request now on Flathub's Git repository uh, to include it in Flathub. That means that you'll be able to install Bazaar on any Flatpak enabled distro. And that's super exciting. So let's take a look at the actual pull request. Uh, this was opened four days ago. And the title is add io.github.columni.bazaar. Now, check it out. Bazaar is a new app store for GNOME with a focus on discovering and installing applications and add-ons from Flatpak remotes, particularly Flathub. We incentivize and provide Flathub and donation integration as one of the main features of the application. There's a bunch of short videos here demonstrating the functionality of, uh, of Bazaar. And the rest of this is uh, housekeeping stuff for the most part. Now, let me just say that Bazaar has had a hell of a whirlwind of development. Uh, it was just last month, I believe, that I was talking about this new uh, app store for flat packs that was coming to Bazite. And it used to be that the only way to actually mess around with Bazaar was to install Bazite. Um, I think it was upstream in Ublu as well. But uh, for the most part, yeah, we're, we're talking about Bazite here. And I have a virtual machine here, so I can quickly grab some screen cap of it. All right, so we're in my Bazite VM here, and uh, we're gonna pop into Bazaar. It's gonna be the first thing we take a look at here. Uh, like I said, I was looking at this maybe two, three weeks ago last month, right? I was, I was checking this out, and it has evolved quite significantly since uh, that time. I mean, immediately, the loading screen is, uh, is quite improved. All right, take a look at this. Awesome, so immediately it pops up with updates available. That is super nice to see uh, because the Discover App Center doesn't tend to do this. Uh, it has a little um, badge down in the bottom left corner and if you're not looking for updates, then you're not really gonna see them. This is like, hey, by the way, there's uh, some updates here. So let's go ahead and install those. And we have this nice little progress bar up here. We can click on that and pull up the actual uh, pop-out menu here, the sidebar. I don't know what you would call that. And we can see that there uh, is a list of curated applications here. Uh, and, you know, Bazite is all about gaming. And that's one of the highlights of this application is that the developers, or the, the maintainers of your uh, distro uh, can customize a curated list of flat packs for you to install. They can also uh, hide some uh, applications that might cause some potential issues. For example, on here, I know um, in talking with the devs here that uh, they're hiding the Steam Flatpak because Bazite ships with Steam. You don't need to install the Flatpak version of Steam. So just some foot guns that they're hiding uh, so you don't accidentally shoot yourself uh, when you're uh, messing around with your application. But you can scroll down, you, you can see we have Heroic Launcher, we have Itch, there's uh, the Minecraft Bedrock Launcher, Vintage Story. You can install a Roblox client. There's the GNOME uh, emulator front end, which is pretty awesome. Um, I actually really enjoy cartridges. And then there's some standalone emulators and what have you, right? So uh, it, it's really cool to see. Um, there's also Space Cadet uh, 3D pinball here, um, but we can fully, like that's super quick and I mean, that was super quick to install and uh, it is the full 3D pinball for Windows experience here. Um, I don't know what the uh, buttons are. Uh, I can play with the mouse. I didn't realize you could do that. There is a frame rate issue, uh, but that's because I'm playing in a virtual machine. But I mean, that was super fast to install. You can see some flat hub statistics here. Great. So let's go back and we can uh, look at some other stuff here. There's some stuff for streaming, of course. So we have OBS, we have uh, Steam Link, uh, GeForce Infinity, which is a GeForce Now uh, front end. There's Parsec, Moonlight, Discord, uh, ton and Element, which is one of the best um, matrix clients out there. And there's also like music and media. So you got uh, Spotify, you have Jellyfin, VLC, Plex. There's a ton of applications here. There's also Vacuum Tube, 
which is like the uh, the the YouTube TV app, but it's for desktops. I absolutely love this. And this tab right here, curated, is applications that are uh, like recommended by your distro maintainers. There's also the FlatHub tab, which you can see, you know, apps of the week. You can see what's trending on FlatHub. You can see uh, apps that have recently received an update. You can see applications that are new to FlatHub. There's also popular applications and more. Um, so if we go back to Curated, let's go to Heroic. And um, you can see that there's actually a support button here. So if we click the support button, it'll open up our web browser and take us to a, a donation page for this application. You can see that uh, Heroic is looking to get about $6,000 a month and they're 72% of the way to that goal through Kofi or coffee, whatever this uh, website's called. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> you can donate. Um, and I think that this is one of the most important features of this application because not only can you find and install and manage all of your uh, your flat packs that are on your system, but there is a, a support button directly built into this application. And the fact is, if we want to have a world where open source applications are the norm and where desktop Linux is thriving, we have to put our money where our mouth is. And uh, that's why I so strongly believe in uh, what Bazaar is doing here, because front and center, right next to the install button, we have support buttons. And um, if you believe in what Heroic is doing or what any of the applications that you use are doing, uh, maybe it's time to click that support button and show them your support with a, a financial contribution. And the best part about the support button is that it's actually pulling that directly from FlatHub. All they have to do is update their FlatHub date details and uh, with the support link, and then it will automatically show up in Bazaar. Uh, I think that that's truly amazing. Now I'm running this in a virtual machine and you can see that there's a little bit of, uh, of lag here. The, the frame rate's not that great, but we're gonna shut this VM down. And you can see here that there's actually a command to install uh, a test build of uh, Bazaar. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now I'm on Ubuntu right now and I've gone ahead and, and set up flat packs for myself on here because I'm not a big fan of snaps um, and flat packs I feel just provide a better end user experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this command here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit yes. And we're going to hit yes again. And suddenly we have Bazaar on our system. <laughs> and uh, I could not be more excited about this because this means that I have access to Bazaar on Ubuntu. Now, um, there are some apps that I can update uh, we can also click later if we want to. Uh, and GNOME software has crashed on Ubuntu because of course it has. But I mean, guys, look at this. We have Bazaar here. And you can see that there is only a FlatHub tab here and there's no um, like distro maintained uh, curated list. If you're installing this on a distro that doesn't ship Bazaar, you're probably not going to see a curated list. And not to mention, this will work on SteamOS too. You can use this to re fully replace uh, Discover App Store on the, in desktop mode. You could uh, add this to your Steam library to be able to manage flat packs from game mode. Yeah, especially when this lands on uh, FlatHub and you don't even have to run a command, you'll just be able to uh, go into Discover and then use that to install uh, Bazaar. I think that that's super neat. Let's go ahead and install Nextcloud, for example. The next, uh, uh, this is the Nextcloud uh, desktop client. We're gonna go ahead and hit install. And you can see it's gonna tell us what's gonna be installed here. We can go ahead and install it. Uh, and Nextcloud is one of those applications that doesn't have a support uh, option yet. But yeah, at this point, um, Bazaar will be available shortly hereafter. I mean, this video should be going up on Monday and there's a good chance that it'll already be on FlatHub by the time this video goes live. I mean, the 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 like pace at which Bazaar has evolved and uh, arrived on the scene almost fully formed from the very beginning of its development. I mean, it, it is astonishing to see. And the fact that like this already seems faster, it, it, it took 
less than a minute to install the, the NextCloud desktop client. We can launch it directly from Bazaar here. And there it is right there. Yeah, I mean, dude, I just think that this is a, like amazing. Uh, I wanna show you VacuumTube really quick too. Um, VacuumTube is a very neat application. This is what most uh, like home theater distros use when they wanna show uh, YouTube. And I'll tell you, the, I think the, the number one or maybe number two app on my uh, NVIDIA Shield is YouTube. I, I watch tons and tons of YouTube uh, and it's rivaled only by my own Jellyfin instance. And that only took 30 seconds to install, are you kidding me? I'm used to flat packs taking like two or three minutes. <laughs> so that's uh, really, really great to see. Now, we're gonna open up YouTube, and if you've, if you've run YouTube on your TV before, you'll know that sound. This is literally the YouTube app that's packaged in a flat pack. Uh, we can sign in with our phone here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real fast. And there we go, we're logged in, and I'm uh, searching through here. Tab through here, see what's... Uh, what's the latest on YouTube here, recently uploaded. But the other cool thing about this app is that if you go to the settings, there's ad block features, there's de-arrowing features, so it removes clickbait uh, from the thumbnails. Uh, you can return dislikes uh, from the dislike API, which I'll turn on. Um, hardware decoding, blah, blah, blah. It, this is super duper neat. Uh, I absolutely love this application. Uh, and, you can install it through Bazaar. Um, guys, Bazaar is very exciting. You can also donate to Bazaar here uh, if you want. Uh, I truly believe it's one of the most important uh, desktop applications in, the, in recent memory um, because of its versatility, how quickly it has uh, come on the scene. Not to mention the fact that it has the potential to help Linux uh, desktop app developers make a living from the work that they do and rightfully deserve to make a living from. So if you believe in what uh, is going on here, definitely download uh, Bazaar. It's amazing. You can also help support Bazaar using um, the links that are gonna be down in the description. And the fact is, if we as a community can get in the habit of putting our money where our mouth is and supporting open source app developers, um, using Flathub or using any uh, medium, then there is no limit to what we can achieve as a community. Uh, you think about like the kind of money that Microsoft is making or Oracle or uh, Amazon, Apple, any of these companies that are profiting from uh, proprietary software and hardware, if you and I can get down to business and uh, help support the projects that we actually believe in, as a community, we have way more potential and more passion and more creativity and more desire to realize a world that is worth living in. Uh, it boggles the mind that um, so many people are content with the, the state of the world today. And truthfully, if we just put our money where our mouth is, if we help support these applications, if we work together to build something better, then I don't see any limits standing in our way. I don't know, those are just my thoughts on this. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Bazaar, on the potential of open source um, applications on the desktop. Let me know in the comments. Uh, I also want to say that if you like what I'm doing here, you can support this show as well. I love making these videos for you guys. It's an absolute passion project for me to make these videos. And uh, if you like what I do, at the links below, you can find ways to get your name listed over here. Um, but with that said, I think that's gonna do it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.